we have two things not just decomposers we also have detritivorous similar function but slightly different okay they have almost similar function but they are slightly different okay let us understand the difference between them first when we are talking about decomposers they are generally they are generally very small organisms okay like majority of the bacteria which are there the protozoa which is there they are very small organism most of them they are unicellular okay leave alone just one thing like uh, we have fungi also fungi is also a decomposer they have a grad, uh, like uh, relatively larger size which we can see like you can see mushroom mushroom is a fungi only we can see it clearly okay so most here we have options like bacteria we have fungi and we have protozoa okay these are decomposers now understand here one thing when we are talking about decomposers majority of them they are very small organism and they do not have a well developed system okay like the animals if you see large animals they have a well developed digestion system in their body but these organisms they do not have a such a well developed system so what they do like suppose how they get their food they get their food from dead decaying matter they get their food from dead decaying matter they are not feeding upon living organism decomposers are those which are feeding on dead plants or animals it can be either of them okay it is simply dead and decaying biomass the one which is already dead and it has started to decay they feed upon it both the decomposers and detritivores okay now even if dead matter is there it will be a relatively larger biomass and if they have to get the energy from there they have to first digest it they have to first like uh, break it down into simpler pieces so how do they do it basically the decomposers let us have a decomposer and detritive borers what they do they release enzyme they release enzyme on the dead and decaying matter okay and when they are releasing the enzyme the dead and decaying matter will be broken down into simpler pieces once it has been broken down into simpler pieces now they can consume that thing now they can eat that thing and then they can simply get their nutrition get their nutrition by absorbing simpler molecules what they are doing they are first releasing the enzymes and once it has been broken down into simpler pieces then after that they absorb the simpler molecules and get their nutrition okay remember one thing if you remember this that they are very small organism you will get the idea they cannot consume the food and digest it within their body they don't have that much well developed system they are very small organism so they release the enzyme in the atmosphere in the surrounding over the dead matter okay and then the dead matter is broken down into the surrounding into simpler pieces and after that they absorb it and from there they get their nutrition what examples we have here we have bacteria we have fungi and we have protozoa the examples must be remembered example is one such area about the decomposers which you must know now detritivores again the same thing they also feed on dead and decaying matter the the source of nutrition the source of food is same dead and decaying matter but they do it differently what they do they consume the dead matter digest internally digest internally okay so here you will find we have relatively bigger organisms it's not like lions and tigers are doing it but relatively bigger like you have earthworms okay 
हाँ यू हैव अर्थ वॉम्स यू हैव स्नेल्स यू हैव मिलीपीड्स वुडलाइस टर्माइट के सो दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर रिलेटिवली बिगर वट दे कैन डू दे कैन सिंपली कंज्यूम द डेड मैटर दे कैन डाइजेस्ट इट इंटरनली एंड देन दे विल गेट देर न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम देर here you have to remember certain examples like we have termite we have wood lice we have earthworm we have sea cucumber we have snails okay etc and you will have some more examples like when you are going through this uh, otops which you are getting there also you will get more examples of decomposers and detritivores okay so these things will be mentioned there also what are the examples i hope it is visible now okay so you will be able to get these examples also remember the key difference between decomposers and detritivores decomposers what they do they release the enzyme into the on the dead and decaying matter once it is broken down into simpler pieces then they absorb it in case of detritivores they consume the dead matter digest it internally and then they are getting their energy okay here we have examples of relatively larger organism termite is there wood lice is there earthworm is there sea cucumber is there millipedes is there snails is there millipedes is also there okay dung beetle are there even some cockroaches are there even some cockroaches are there which are sort of detritivores okay although they are mainly called as scavengers okay they also do the same thing okay but sometimes they are like simply consuming some leftover food also some other things also okay so are not actually such classified as detritivores mostly okay but sometimes they play the role of detritivores okay there is one more thing in both these cases there will be addition of nutrients to the ground that is a very important criteria okay the soil which is there which is the soil which is there it is enriched with nutrients by the action of these decomposers or detritivores okay you know earthworms are regarded as very important for agriculture for agricultural activities earthworms are very much useful okay why they feed upon the dead biomass and from there they are releasing these nutrients to the ground okay so this is one such very important thing about the decomposers and detritivores okay remember they feed on dead matter dead and decaying matter okay examples are clear